there's something about southeastern guide dogs that makes graduates want to give back. I, I can't explain it. I've been able to go back and talk to classes as they were um, getting ready to graduate. My first day of class was June 15th of 2020. I had my wife drop me off on campus because I knew if I had a means of leaving, I probably wasn't going to stay. It turned out to be unnecessary. And uh, it's been incredibly rewarding. Although I found it nearly impossible to sleep somewhere new, I took my first afternoon nap on this campus in over a decade. <clears throat> I remembered how I, I felt when I was at my worst and how hopeless that felt and <clears throat> how grateful I was that somebody threw me a lifeline and said, hey, this is, let me get you out of this spot. I've wanted to be a Marine since I was probably 10 years old. You had a goal to go and, and participate and fight for your country. The greatest feeling in the world is having someone shoot at you and miss. It's a very, very powerful driving force. You realize at that moment that you just got another chance. I returned from Iraq in May of 2003. PTSD was uh, something that I knew that I had Mike hid his PTSD for a majority of our relationship, and it wasn't until um, when we lost a friend tragically that things kind of came to the surface. And uh, I went over the ledge, so to speak. I was grocery shopping one day, and there was a person in the grocery store with a dog, and I recognized the Southeastern Guide Dog's coat, and I'm standing there fascinated by what I'm hearing, still not considering a dog for myself, and I felt something on my left thigh, and I looked down, and her dog had his right paw on my thigh and was looking up at me. I looked back at her, and she says, do you have PTSD? And I said, actually, yeah, I just was diagnosed recently. And she's, well, my dog's working you right now. And that was my aha moment. I think I was six weeks from submitting my application to when I went to class. I knew right away that Ryan was going to be a good fit. I felt differently after getting Ryan. I, I could see the improvements in my day-to-day -day life. I could see the value in what the dogs offer. What are you going to do with that ball? Ryan wakes up with his tail wagging and can't believe that he's, ha he's got another day and it's another opportunity and it's going to be the best day ever. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, his happiness is at a 10 from the second that his feet hit the ground. likes playing fetch. The last catch of the day. Oh gosh, there's so many so many things I could say about what he means. He's a, a, a better version of me in some ways. Um, areas where I'm deficient, he's strong. He's my lifeline, he's, he's my, my conscience. And uh, I find myself trying to be the, the person that he thinks that I am.
Now is the time to remember There are two of us facing our fate And though you've been tried by the burdens you bear I'm here to carry the weight You can count on me You can count on me Ready and willing Whenever you need I'll gladly follow Or I'll take a lead Count on me View every episode of Dogs of Destiny at guidedogs.org slash dogs of destiny.